I have a question though. You yeah. said you want your boyfriend, and we talked about this a little bit earlier. You you want your boyfriend to be a protector, mm -hmm. right? So you had an issue where your boyfriend, he didn't want you to go out partying and go to the clubs. Yeah. Now, and you mentioned this too with your boyfriend. Maybe you guys, you other girls here, have had issues with guys trying to control you when it comes to not wanting you to go out to bar, uh, parties, clubs, bars, get drunk, go out with your single girl, yeah. uh, single girlfriends. Couldn't you make the argument that men not wanting their girlfriends to go out to these types of environments is men using their masculine instincts to keep their significant other uh, out, of out of positions that put the relationship at risk and put her in a potentially dangerous situation? I don't know, because I think a lot of it with men has to do with, like, insecurity. With their, you think it's uh, insecure if a guy... Yeah, I feel like a lot of guys are insecure about, like, their girls, and they're, like, worried that, like, other guys are going to, like, I don't know, like, make a move or something. I feel like, I don't know. But like, other guys do make a move. I mean, yeah, but, like, you it's also trust. You can reject them. Yeah. Yeah, we, like... like that's, I know you guys. No, no, it's sorry. trust. I, yeah, it's, like, you should already just be able to, like, trust... If you're not yeah. trying to be trusting the person, then, like, why are you with them? Yeah. Not yeah. okay. Like so they, you should just automatically like assume they're gonna be loyal because like that you know. Like the <laughs> yeah, I think they assume that we're going out to like find someone else because yeah. that's what so they what? do most of the time. That's not like what we're trying to do. We're trying yeah. to actually like we're just, just trying to have, have fun. fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's but it just part of yeah. Go, no, you go. Because I know what you're gonna say. Do you yeah. think yeah? <laughs> do you think part of having fun is like going out and like meeting guys? I mean, like as a woman, mm -hmm. you know, like you're probably gonna get hit on, like you know. Yeah, I mean. A couple of times, yeah. yeah. If you wanted to hook up with someone, you could. And like as a man, like, I don't know, me as a girlfriend, like, what do I need to go out for if like my man's not there? Yeah. Because like I'm gonna get hit on. Yeah. 100. Yeah. percent And like you're under the influence. Yeah. You're like, I don't know if you do drugs or like you know you're drunk like. You could fall into those traps yeah. for sure. Yeah, 100%. But it's yeah. also a respect thing, like, for your significant other. Like, when you're in a committed relationship, I feel like the respect factor of it is, like, maybe you shouldn't go out clubbing and partying yeah. and putting yourself in that situation. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's an insecurity thing for men. I think it's more so a respect thing, yeah. especially okay. in a day and age where we post on... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a... Oh. Keep going, keep going. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just saying, in the day and age yeah. that we post on social media a lot, you know, I yeah. think that men always have their friends in their ears being like, yo, your girl's out partying, like, Actually, that fucking slut. Yeah. Sorry, but, like, it that's how so... men think. That is literally how men think, and it's a respect thing. And then when men get it from their friends, they're like, whoa, my ego has been bruised. And that's yeah. why they're, like, upset with you. Yeah, I get that. No, I like the way you put that. Like, that I'm not is, saying yeah. don't go party, don't have fun, no. but, like, keep that in the back of the mind of, like, it's a respect thing at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. You know, go party together. Go do things together. If you want to have a girl's day, there's other things than going out to bars and partying like that, you know? Yeah. And but I will I say, like, we both work <laughs> in a nightclub, and there have yeah. been many instances where we've seen – Oh, girl, just completely yeah. wasted with yeah. like a group of guys, mm -hmm. and there's been times where I'm like, you need to get out of here, yep. or I'm gonna get someone to kick yep. you out of here yeah. because these guys are gonna completely take advantage of you. you yep. I, I have a question, kind of related to what she's saying. Do you guys think that people make mistakes when it comes to infidelity? Like, you can end up in a situation due to the circumstances, alcohol is invo involved, mm -hmm. drugs are involved. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're just you just had you're still in a relationship, but you had an argument with your boyfriend. You're both kind of upset. You're with your single female friends that would love to have you yes. back single yeah. again. Um, do yeah. these, all these factors, can they coalesce and potentially lead to somebody making, uh, making a mistake, oh. leading to infidelity? Because people cheat. Sometimes they cheat intentionally. Sometimes people will cheat. They fucked up. They made a mistake, and they yeah. feel terrible about it. A hundred percent. Like I see it five nights a week. You guys at, work in the nightclubs, right? Yeah. Yeah. These girls, yeah, they I, got boyfriends. They're cheating. But but it's okay. It's not only girls. Sure, guys. We, yeah, sure. Men, yeah. men. Okay. The bachelor parties that come in. Sure. Last night of freedom. The the friends they pull girls to the in table. Vegas. Absolutely. This is in Vegas. This right? is in Vegas. Yeah. 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 They pull girls to the table. They're like, bro, it's your last night of freedom. Like, go dance with her. And then it ends up, oh, yeah. you're now making out. Oh, now you're leaving together. Yeah. But it's not. It's only women. Yes, women do fall into that as well, and it just takes as simple as, oh, I had a fight with my boyfriend. I'm drinking. My inhibitions are lowered. 
Right. I also think it does matter, like, who your friends are and who you're hanging mm-hmm. out with. Like, Ty's, this is my best friend, but yeah. she's married. Like, we don't go out and... We don't go fuck shit up. Yeah, no. (laughs) She's married, like, you know, so, hey, we're going to brunch. We're doing a little lounge or something like that. Um, If we go, like, we don't, we don't go party. I feel like we've, like, we've gone to, like, industry outings where it's, like, all of our coworkers, but we still have to remember, like, we are part of the company and we're not out here trying to be wild. It may seem like that on social media because we're promoting a fun time. But it's not. Well, I'd like to hear from you guys over here, too. Like, do you guys think a guy not wanting his long-term monogamous girlfriend, he doesn't want her going out, partying? Do you think that's... Do you think that's insecure? Do you think he doesn't have... uh, He he doesn't trust her? Um, What do you guys think over here? I wouldn't say it's insecurity. I think that's, like, a bad label. I think when you're in a relationship there's definitely you have to have like mutual respect and mutual trust obviously I feel like people should be allowed to go out should be allowed to like have fun but I think that when you are in a relationship personally just when I was in a relationship I didn't go out as much or Mm -hmm. I would go out with him Mm -hmm. yeah but also I think that saying that you shouldn't go out to someone is also like you don't really have trust in them but it also is true that, like, men know men better than women know yeah. men. Mm-hmm. Women know women better than men know women. So it's like, we, they, obviously we know what intentions are. We know what, like, other things are. But, like, if I was talking to someone and they were going to go out, I'd, like, hope and trust that, like, they would respect me and not, like, do something, you know? Like, I wouldn't mm-hmm. push that onto them, Sure. I guess. What about you? Um, I agree with that. But I think in, like, past relationships, like... I don't know, it is a huge, like, trust thing as well, like, having your significant other go out and do things. Um, I personally, like, don't, I agree with, like, kind of, like, respecting each other's boundaries and, like, knowing that, like, hey, I don't want you to go to that club, I don't want you to go to that party, and I think that that's a respect thing, and I think that they should agree with that. What about you? Um, I feel like, in my personal experiences like when I was in that long-term relationship with my cheating ex-boyfriend it's like really hard for me to judge this question because like when I was with him I wasn't allowed to go out I didn't drink at the time I was in high school I literally like when I would go to parties like I would just stay with my girlfriends and they would be drunk and I would be babysitting them like literally like just there to like keep them safe and like I wasn't even allowed to do that much so I it's hard to really say like for me if it's like insecurity or if it's because he's like cheating on you you know like I don't know. Hmm. It was, I feel like it was like a projection almost like for him to say, oh, you can't do this. Like there's other guys there. Like you're going to cheat on me there. Like, cause that's obviously the end of the day. You're like more nervous about your girl going out because you think she's going to like cheat. Like that's like the right. core fear. Yeah. So I feel like it's almost like depends on the guy. Cause it could be a reflection of themselves. Okay. At least that's what I learned in my relationship. Yeah. Gotcha. I also feel like, um, if I'm dating someone and they don't know their alcohol limit, and I would not feel comfortable with that, but I feel like if they know how much they, they drink, they like know exactly, like, I don't know, I just feel like I would trust them a lot more if they knew their limit and I've seen them drunk and they're not sloppy or could get taken advantage right. of or take advantage of someone else. Or like overly friendly. <laughs> yeah. Sophie, did you weigh, on, weigh in on this? Um. Uh, well, okay, hold Brandon on. Mills donated $99. I've been plastered and cross faded into oblivion and still know not to go home with someone and sleep with them. I've never understood that excuse from others. If that is you, you definitely shouldn't put yourself in that spot while in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Facts. I mean, yeah, exactly. 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Facts. 